Today, Hong Kong is well regarded as a thriving financial capital and shopping mecca of Asia. But the city was once a fishing village, and here in Chun Wan, it used to be a barren plot of land. It wasn't until the 1950s that the city began to evolve into a manufacturing based economy and gradually opened up to the world. Here we're at Pakton Pa Street in Chun Wan, where the mills is located. The mills is a landmark revitalization project by Nanfeng Group, an evolution from its manufacturing heyday in the 1950s as a cotton spinning factory. With Hong Kong becoming the financial hub of Asia, Nanfeng Group diversified its business and closed down the last factory in 2008. In 2014, Vanessa, granddaughter of Dr. D.H. Chen, was inspired by her family's history and suggested to transform the idle factory into a destination for the community and subsequently founded the mills. Started as a passion project, it's now become a living testimony of Hong Kong's textile history. Since 2018, visitors have been able to explore Hong Kong's authentic story, where themes of textile and industry are woven into experiences of innovation, culture and learning. The mills is comprised of three pillars. The mills shop floor, CHAT, Centre for Heritage, Arts and Textile, and the mills fabrica. Join us on this virtual tour to discover more. The hall is located at the heart of the mills. What was once a three-storey factory has been transformed into a spacious area with tall ceilings and an abundant amount of natural sunlight shining through the skylight. Pillars from the factory have been preserved and reinforced with steel, recreating the atmosphere and environment of the textile factory in the olden days. The staircase at the centre of the hall is also a famous photo-taking spot. We have retained quite a few special features from the textile factory. We kept our original green walls and columns, staircase, window frame motifs, and also upcycled items such as the Golden Cup gate. Additionally, the wood from the old factory doors has been used to manufacture chairs, and fire buckets from the past remain as decorative features at the mills. There are three floors of boutique retail stores and restaurants at the mills offering visitors a shopping experience like no other. Sustainability is an important theme when it comes to the curation of the tenants here. A great example would be the Hong Kong Research Institute of Textiles and Apparel's garment-to-garment -garment recycle system, called G2G, the first of its kind in the world. It's a mini-scale production line that recycles post-consumer garments into brand new clothing, demonstrating how a closed-loop recycling process can be made possible without the use of any water and chemicals. You are welcome to bring in any old garments and the G2G system will help turn it into a new item of clothing that can be reworn. To preserve the textile factory and its heritage features, most of the structural elements have been retained. Glass footbridges have been installed between different buildings in the premises to enhance connectivity and encourage the flow of visitors within the mills. The Centre for Heritage Arts and Textile, also known as CHAT, is located on the second floor of the mills. It is an art centre that draws inspiration from textile-related topics. With the motto, Weaving Creative Experience for All, CHAT invites visitors to experience the spirit of the innovative legacy of Hong Kong's textile industry and engage in dialogues and journeys that interweave contemporary arts, design and heritage through its multifaceted exhibitions and programs. CHAT runs a museum shop located on the ground floor of the mills. It echoes the vision of CHAT and aims to be a destination for textile and culture lovers who appreciate curated merchandise developed in collaboration with artists, designers and partners from Hong Kong and Asia Pacific that embodies the heritage and innovation in the culture of making. Through effective placemaking strategies, we hope to enhance the overall experience at the mills and also educate the local community about sustainability. For example, the rooftops of the textile factory have been transformed into gardens, also known as the deck and the park, for visitors to unwind from the hustle and bustle of the city. Not only that, to promote fresh and organic produce, we also have an exclusive area for our restaurant tenants where they can grow their own vegetables, fruits and herbs.
visit our restaurants and try out their offerings for yourself. At the park, looking up, you'll see the Mills Fabrica on the fourth floor. Let's go and check it out. The Mills Fabrica is a business incubator, fund and co-working space for textile startups and strategic partners. It focuses on incubating and investing in sustainable innovators and building the international community of sustainability by welcoming everyone in our physical spaces. Fabrica Atrium is an event space located at the core of the Mills Fabrica, overlooking the park with a magnificent mountain view and skylight. The space is well equipped for conferences, workshops, networking and cocktail events, to name but a few. The Mills Fabrica offers a flexible workspace to facilitate collaboration among members and a prototyping lab on the fourth floor to help entrepreneurs realise their ideas. Powered by the Mills Fabrica and the Hong Kong Research Institute of Textiles and Apparel, HK Rita, Fabrica Lab is the first textile prototyping space of its kind in Hong Kong, merging technology and lifestyle under the same roof. We offer workbenches, CAD workstations and designated areas to members. At the lab, we have a spectrum of top-of-the-range industrial tools for you to develop new prototypes and products faster, safer and easier. The footprint of Fabrica is not limited to just the fourth floor of the complex. You will find its flagship store called Fabrica X on the first floor of the mills. It's an experiential concept store that features the latest technologies and innovations from textile and agri-food tech brands, promoting conscious consumption and sustainability.